So welcome back aliens, this is Navin Reddy from Tarisco Learnings and in this video we will talk about how to fetch the data from the Hibernate or using Hibernate from database. So in the last video we have seen how to add values right. So we can use this method which is save using which you can store the object. But let's say I want to fetch the data now. But before fetching we should have some data right. So I already have this data in my database if you can see in my MySQL we already have 101 and green. Oh, we, we are not using name is because we have made it transient. Let me just run this once again so that we'll get that transient as object as well. Let's go back to our database and if I say show, you can see we got that record. Now what I want is I want to add some more values. Uh, the problem is if I say two and if I change this value to let's say sarang and if I say the color is white. The problem is, since we are saying create every time it will get a new table, right? We don't want that. We want it to use the same table. So we have to make it update, right? So we'll say, okay, update. Now by saying update, what you're doing is, it will not get a new table now. So if I run this code, you can see in your database, in your database, you'll be having two rows now, one Naveen green and 102 Sarang white. Now, if I, if I go back here, Okay, now what I, what I want is I don't have these values here. Okay, let me just remove these values <clears throat> in the same code. And in alien, I also want uh, one more method here which is two strings so that you know when I print the object, it should not print the hash code. I want to print the values of it. So we'll, we'll implement two string method here. Now if you're not familiar with two string method, you can just watch my video on two string on YouTube. So two string, you have to override two string so that you can fetch the values because by default two string method fetches the hash code. Now let's go back here and yeah. So after this, what I want to do is I want to print the value of telesco. So I will say uh, system.out.println. I will print the object telesco. Let's not save that because we want to fetch it from database now. Since you can, you can see I have created this object which is blank now. So this object here is a blank object. I mean, it's an object which doesn't have any, any default values. And if you try to print that object, it will give you some weird output, which is zero, zero, and then null value, I guess. So you can say we got zero and then null for name and null for color. I want to fetch this record from database. Now, how do we do that? It's very simple. We have to say that I want object of Telisco equal to, now there's a, the, we can use session dot. So there's a method called as get. In this get, you have to pass two parameters. The first one is the class name. The class name is alien dot class. Then you have to mention the primary key, which object you want to fetch. I want to fetch 101 because 101 is actually Naveen, right? And we have to typecast it with alien because it will give you, so get method gives you the object of object. I want object of alien. So you have to typecast it, right? So once we have done with the typecasting, let's run this code. If you can see, the output now, we got alien 101, Naveen and green. So we are fetching the data from database. In the back end, you can see we are getting an SQL query. So even if you are saying get, it is firing a query by passing a where clause where you mention that it, the ID is question mark, which is actually 101 in our case. If I do it for 102, of course, you'll be getting the data, which is, uh, which is, which is sarang. You can see 102, sarang and white. So that's how you can fetch the data from the database. Again, we have two methods to use here. One is get and second is load. Again, we'll talk about load in one of the video in, few, in, the, in the subsequent tutorials. But you can use get to fetch the data. Okay, so that's how you fetch data, data from database using, uh, using Hibernate. And we have to do that with the help of get method. Uh, one more thing, uh, you don't have to create object here. We can also say null because it, is, it will be giving you the object, right? The instance, you don't have to do that. And if I, if I run this code now, you can see it still works. So we don't have to create the object there. You can simply specify null, even that will do. So that's it. So if you liked this video, make sure you like the video and do subscribe for, for the videos. Thank you so much.